Israel's military continues Operation Protective Edge in Gaza, diplomats scramble to try and get both sides to agree to a ceasefire. CCTV's Stephanie Freed has the latest from the Israel-Gaza border. The death toll in Gaza has climbed beyond 600. More than 200,000 Gazans have fled their homes, food and water are in short supply, and sanitation is lacking. On day six of Israel's ground campaign into Gaza, chief diplomats are working overtime to halt the fighting. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon met with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas to broker a ceasefire deal between Hamas and Israel. Within hours, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry also touched down with the same aim. We have uh, certainly uh, made some steps forward. There's still work to be done. Uh, but I'm very appreciative that the Secretary General is making great efforts. The U.N. is wholeheartedly in this effort to try to see if we can advance uh, not just a ceasefire, but a sustainable process uh, going forward, which is very important. At the same time, Qatari Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad flew to Saudi Arabia for meetings with Saudi King Abdullah bin Abdelaziz. The two leaders are also pushing for a deal to end the Gaza crisis. The U.S. and Israel are backing an Egypt proposal for a ceasefire. But Qatari and Saudi heads of state stand a better chance of convincing Hamas leaders to accept an end to the fighting because Qatar holds sway with Hamas. So far, Hamas has turned down any Egyptian brokered deal for ending this crisis. The latest, international airlines including United, Delta, Air France, Lufthansa, Alitalia and others have postponed flights to Israel indefinitely after a rocket landed dangerously close to the country's main airport. Highlighting the urgency of the current situations, passengers scramble for cover as an air raid siren signals incoming rockets. I came to fly and my flight is delayed and then it was canceled and then there was a bomb alarm. The whole airport rushed into the, uh, the bomb shelters and it was terrifying. The diplomats understand the exigency of the crisis and are doing their part. Civilians caught in the middle on all sides continue bearing the brunt of the ongoing campaign. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, on the Gaza-Israel border.